Hello. How is everybody? Me, the artificial artist, Larry Jones. Today we are going to fix a nice pot of eggplant chili. Now I know it's like, what? Eggplant chili? Oh my god. But no, I am starting to dig in a little bit in my to some roots here in, in Florida, so I'm starting to get back into my healthy way of eating uh, the way I did before I left Cincinnati. So, like I said, I still believe that you should balance things out, that I, I don't see anything wrong with having your little snacks and things, as long as it's good quality snacks, all right? Don't eat garbage, ever. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to cut the ends off of my eggplant. Now, I have already washed this eggplant off. I'm going to turn on my stove because the eggplant is going to act in the place of the meat. Okay, so when you prepare this, have that in your mind that you're going to season this and prepare this as if you are frying up ground turkey or ground beef. All right, because it's all about the mind. You got to tell your mind that it's me. And if you tell your mind that it's me and you make it look like me, then once you start to eat it, you won't be tripping. All right, so I will keep the peel on this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop mine up in the food processor. All right, and I'm going to chop my onions up in the food processor as well. So um, you're going to need some hemp seed, some flax seed, your tomato paste and all that good stuff. So get all your, your chili making ingredients out, all right? So maybe you want to make your chili the way you always make it, but you want to try it this time with the eggplant, okay? So that means you get all your chili fixings and your main ingredients on how you do it. Just substitute the meat for the eggplant, okay? I'm going to chop these up and I'll be right back. I have grated up my uh, eggplant. As you can see, it's kind of like an apple. So once the air hits it, it will start to oxidize and turn brown. All right, and that's fine with me. I don't give a damn because I want it to look like what? Meat, exactly. So I also went ahead and ground up my uh, purple onion. And I use, I don't know, I guess we all have different uh, food processors, but mine actually has a setting for salsa. So that's the setting that I use. I use that setting for my eggplant, and I also used it for my purple onion, one of the purple onions. The other purple onion, I went ahead and diced this up in chunks, and that's what we're going to go ahead and put in the skillet now. So I have my coconut oil. All right, and I'm going to use, I wanted to use, I'll use this. This is a, uh, a half a cup. I'm not going to fill up the whole cup. I'm really just using it just to pour some oil in the skillet. So we can saute up the onions and give them a head start. All right, I'm going to leave the top off of that because we're going to add some coconut oil to that. But first, we're going to go ahead and put the onion in the skillet and get them a head start, okay? All right, I'm going to use my rubber scraper just to break them up a little bit. Make sure my, I'm up high enough, all right. All right, so while those are going, we're going to go ahead and season up our eggplant. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in my chopped onion. All right. How is everybody? Huh? It's hurricane season here, and we got a thinking-ass Irma 
on her way in in the next couple of days. And my friends and family been calling me, telling me to come back home and telling them I can't do it. I'm a Floridian now. And I can't run home every time. Well, this is my home now. And I think that's what we all have to adjust to, that, that this is my home now. Cincinnati is no longer my home. So I have to learn uh, the terrain down here. Nobody in my neighborhood seems to be concerned about it. I mean, they let the kids out of school, much like, you know, in Cincinnati when it's going to be a terrible storm. They let the kids out so they can stay at home. Well, that's what they do down here. So all the children, uh, today was their last day of school until this uh, passes. I don't know how it works out next week, but right now they're done with school until this hurricane passes. But I have my water. I got food. All right. I don't work far from where I live. I think I will be perfectly fine. Uh, my apartment sits up high, so I don't have a bottom a bottom level apartment. Um, but I think it'll be all right. But I, I really am uh, appreciative of the phone calls and concerns and pleas of desperation for me to come back. <laughs> I thought it was sweet, you know, but I don't believe in death. I think we just come here and experience shit and then we leave. You know, and if it's your time, it's your time. So it don't matter where you are. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. So... Anyway, with that being said, we're going to have chili, and uh, this is what I'm going to eat while I peep out the window watching the hurricane and shit, all right? So right here, I have some ground cumin, and I know that you all be in my ass about measuring shit, and I really do hate to measure. It takes away the fun. Anyway, I got one tablespoon of cumin that I'm going to put in there. Or maybe a little bit more. How about that? Okay. And then I'm going to add in I always like turmeric. I like to add in a little turmeric. But I'm going to add in about um, y'all going to make me measure it. Uh, you're going to really make me measure it. Oh good. It's got a little bit better. Let's, I'm going to add in half Here's one. This is half of a teaspoon, but I don't want half a teaspoon. I want half of this tablespoon. So we're going to put in a half. All right. Half of that tablespoon of uh, turmeric root. This is uh, non-GMO, uh, organic. Yeah. And non-ETO. I don't know what that is. We're going to have to look that up. Non-ETO. Non-GMO and non-ETO. I don't know. We'll find out what that is. All right. And then we're going to add in some pink Himalayan sea salt. And this is a half of, oops, I went over a little bit, but this is a half a teaspoon. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to give a little bit of garlic powder to it. Again, I'm going to do, I really do hate these lids, but since y'all got me using measuring spoons, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right. We're going to get us a nice, Alright, can you see that? I tried to use a glass bowl. Can you see how pretty that is? And it smells good already. I haven't even cooked it yet. Alright, so then we're going to go ahead and add in. This is our half a cup. So I'm going to add in a half a cup of coconut oil. Alright. Now typically, um, if you have your coconut oil, it'll probably be solid. 
all right but it's so warm down here mine always stays as a liquid and I actually like it I can uh, work better with it but if yours is still a solid that's fine just you know spoon it out and it doesn't have to be exact okay you just don't want it to stick to the skillet and we're going to stir that up. Let me go over here and move my onions around a little bit. Okay, they're looking kind of nice. But I'm still not ready to add this eggplant in there just yet. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up just a little bit. All right. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead, I have two bundles of cilantro here. I'm going to use them up. I just bought these um, yesterday? No, Tuesday. I just bought them Tuesday. So they're starting to kind of wilt on me a little bit. Uh, normally you would cut, cut the ends off and put them in water and set them in your refrigerator. Um, but I didn't feel like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook up these whole two bundles. I'm going to uh, put them in the processor and chop them up on salsa setting just like I did with the eggplant. And I also have a whole bag of green onions. I'm going to go ahead and chop those up too in the food processor. Okay? And after that, we'll be back. So now we're going to go ahead and add in now when I did the, the cilantro, I cut the stems off, but I didn't throw them away. I ground them up too, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add just the stem in to the eggplant mixture. Alright, I'm going to give that a nice stir. And then I also cut up my bag of uh, green onions. So we're going to give those, put those in too. And give that a nice stuff. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and add it to the skillet. This is what's going to provide some thickness to the chili. And we're going to stir that all up. And I'm going to let this cook until it gets a nice little golden color to it. Alright, so in the meantime, I'm going to use this bowl. I have a pot over here that we're actually going to put all our chili in. So if you want to use your pot for this part, you can. I'm just going to go ahead and use the bowl so you can see uh, exactly what it is that I'm doing. Okay? And then I'll pour everything from the bowl into the pot before I really put it on the stove. So, in this bowl, I'm going to go ahead and the other part of the cilantro that uh, I didn't put in here with the stem, we're going to go ahead and add that in now. And as you can see, I grated that up pretty good. Alright, kind of break it up a little bit. Some hanging on my blade. Get that off. I don't believe in wasting. Right? And set that to the side. Oh, you know what? I have a whole can of white olives. Alright? And they've already been pitted, black olives. I think I'm going to go ahead and give them a whirl in the uh, food processor real quick. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give that nice little thin. If you don't like black olives, you don't have to use black olives. This is my recipe. I like olives with chili. So even if, you know what, I'm going to take a few of them out because I think I need to snack on those. Let's those in there. to the left. Uh, but if you want to, it will be delicious. I'll take it out. Alright, so I don't think I need the food processor for anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in the face. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and stir up the cilantro and my olives. Now I have a few olives in here that's still a nice size that didn't get ground all the way up, but that doesn't bother me. Like I said, I, I love black olives. Alright, so at this point we're going to add in some hemp seeds. Again, this is my recipe. Alright, I, I like to try to get as much healthy ingredients in my dishes as possible. Okay, so even if you bought something um, from the shelf. Add something organic and healthy to it. You know, to help yourself out. Now this is a fourth of a cup of ground shell hemp seeds. Okay? They have kind of like a a nutty flavor to them. You know, like ground almonds or cashews or something like that. That's what they remind me of. All right, so I'm going to put this away, and then we're going to also add in some brown flaxseed. And we're going to add in the same amount. All right, and again, this will provide a thickness to the chili. And then we're going to give that a nice start. Put that in the cabinet. All right, what we got next? What we got next? Let's go ahead and grate in some lime zest. Okay, so you have your plain. And you're just going to rake it across. Now you want to turn it because you don't want to get that white part in there. It's really, really bitter. And I don't particularly like that taste. And I have a very keen sense of taste. So when I eat something, I can taste like every little thing in it. And honestly, I, I can taste that white rind in there. It makes me do like that. <laughs> and I don't want to do like that. So I have to make sure that I turn my line just to get the green zest. And you could also use a lemon if you want. You can use both if you want. If you didn't want to use um, powdered garlic, the only, this is like the first time I bought powdered garlic and God knows when because uh, there was a recipe that I needed and it required ground garlic. I usually use just fresh garlic and grate it up on here if that's what I want to put it in the food processor. But, like I said, I'm coming around. Um, I don't always know what I want to cook. This morning I had no idea that I was going to do a video. You know, I was laying there and I'm like, eh, what do I want to chew on? 
chilling came to my mind. So I had to go through the cabinet to see what I had. And luckily, I did. Okay, so here's the whole, all the zest off the line. All right, so what we're gonna do next, we give her a nice little roll, like that there. <coughs> Cut it in half. And we're going to squeeze the juice in here, like so. Now you can get one of these. I had a really good one. This isn't a really good one. This one is like a dollar. I actually bought this one at the, uh, at the Dollar Tree. And I'm scared to squeeze it hard. But I needed one for like, just for now, you know. Eventually I'll go ahead and invest in a really good one. I like the big metal ones. You can squeeze the mess out of those. This one, I'm scared if I squeeze it too hard, I'm going to break it. Typically I use this one for my key line. Not the real big one. And I think that's what I'm going to hit them on. Because I wanted it for these. I put these in my water and in my pineapple juice. These are key limes. They give you a lot of uh, energy. A lot more energy than a regular lime. But they are different from these. They pack a hell of a punch. So, now what we're going to do, I'm going to take my knife. I'll save this part to last. I'll put that over there. We're going to go ahead and get us a stir. Let me check on my eggplant over here. Alright, it's looking really nice over here. Now, it's not going to brown up like ground beef. Okay, you just remember it was already uh, brown when I had it in this bowl and then we added the cumin so it's not going to ball up and be hard like uh, like meat but you still want to cook it a little bit okay and I'm going to go ahead and cut this off Alright, and then from there, what's next? What's next? I know what's next. I had a can of black beans that I opened, and I drained them. I didn't run any tap water on them, because you know, I am uh, against tap water with the fluoride in it. They try to kill us on the low. So I just drained it, and they've been sitting in the sink draining probably for about 30 minutes or so. I want to get all that canned juice out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And we're going to give that a stir. Now at this point, I'm ready to transport my uh, this mixture into my pot because it's, it's going to be time to start to add my liquid ingredients. Okay? But we can go ahead and add the tomatoes. These are this is a can of diced tomatoes. Um, this can has sea salt already in it. So I'm not going to add any more salt until after I finish mixing everything together and I can taste it. But when I use the diced uh, tomatoes, I'm going to keep all the juice that's inside of it. Okay, so I'm going to keep all of that. And we're going to get that a nice stir too. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and transport everything in this bowl to my pot that I'm going to cook. So we're going to move this off the stove. put this in here. This bowl is heavy. It's awkward holding it with my left hand. Alright, good enough. Alright, 
get that move around, get my leg out. No, 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 no. no. Pardon? So now, I'm going to add in some tomato sauce. The whole can. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I done messed up. But I, I think I can recover. I think I can recover because I haven't stirred it up yet. But, if you have a package of chili flavor, go ahead and use that. I have the, the Taco Bell seasoning. And what you wanted to do was add this to that mixture before we added this liquid to it. You want to do it when everything is dry. Why? Because it keeps it from lumping up. And you won't have the clump. So I still have a section over here in the pot that the uh, tomato sauce didn't touch. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that seasoning. There we go. It's blended up perfectly. I just don't want any little knots. So when you're eating the chili and you bite down, it's a, a ball of taco seasoning. You know, that, that's not cool. So it's all mixed up. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and mix the tomato sauce completely. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add in can of tomato paste. Now your eggplant mixture, the way I cut that up, you can also use that mixture uh, if you wanted to do a spaghetti. But when I want to do a spaghetti, I actually use a cast iron skillet and it will give it some brown to it. So uh, just remember that. You can use the eggplant uh, for that as well. Maybe I might show you how to do that uh, on another video. I'm going to do a few videos uh, with eggplant dishes. I have a cousin that uh, told me he absolutely ruined an eggplant. So uh, I have him in mind when I do a lot of these eggplant recipes because it is something that he likes. And I love him dearly. And I do not want him to starve to death trying to eat healthy. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm going to do quite a few uh, eggplant recipes. And, and eggplant is one of my favorites. It really is. Alright, so now we have the tomato paste mixed in here really good. Now what I'm going to do is give it just a little taste right here. I just want to see what's going on. Shazam! That is really good already! Alright, and the reason I wanted to know that because I want to add some balsamic vinegar to it, but I wanted to see where things were so I don't add too much. That uh, line really gave it like that little twang that I like. So we're going to add in uh, less than half of a tablespoon of the balsamic vinegar less than half and it's really just to give it some bite all right so we'll put that to the side and i want to stir that up a little taste all right and it's nice and thick see if you can see it's still thick okay so now i'm going to go ahead and add in my eggplant I'm going to use a, a different scraper just because I may not need all of this eggplant. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. Okay, so we're going to put all of that in there. To the side. I'm going to turn my stove back on.
right, and let's give it all a mix. Okay, so now it's nice and thick. So what we got to do now, loosen it up a little bit, all right? So I have Y'all hear my girl playing in the back? She wanted me to wear it today. You know what? You got to go way back in time. Pull up the whole thing. Let them bring some of that old school magic on Alright, so here I am here. I have a can of whole tomato. Now, I may not need to pour the, the juice in from that, but that's not what I bought these for. I got these just to do this here. Because I want to give it some, some hardiness. Something to chew on. Alright, and these are all elements that I do because I am replacing the meat. So I'm trying to satisfy uh, that need that you have uh, or that addiction <laughs> that comes with meat. You know, there's a, a chewing process, there's a consistency that you associate with meat. So if you take one thing away, you need to replace it with something else, no matter what it is, okay? So if you're going to stop a bad habit, you need to replace it with a good habit. Don't just say, oh, I'm just going to stop doing this cold turkey. It, it, it's harder to do. Um, you develop a healthier habit. So, because I have given up on eating the beef, I have to come up with other ways and other things to replace I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut up all of the, the whole can of tomato. And the sauce is beautiful. I may end up keeping it. Okay, we got three more. Alright, so I'm just cutting them in half. Then cutting them again in three. All right. Got ourselves a juicy mess over here. Hold on. I'm still not used to my, this this arrangement here. I think I need to change things around a little bit, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. Why well, not wait for that? Put it in there. Okay. Bring this back. Well, I don't want to bring it back over now. Because I have to set this on the stove, so I don't want anything to sit to the bottom and smoke up the house. Alright, that's still beautiful. Now, I personally don't add water to my chili at all. I use tomato juice. Okay? So, I may go ahead and use this, but I like the, I like the taste of the tomato juice. So that's why I'm hesitant to pour in the uh, juice from the whole tomato. I really like this better. And what we're going to do is, you're going to pour in enough to thin it out. Okay? Because once we put it on the stove, it's got to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. We're going to bring it up to a boil. Then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer. Anybody that knows chili knows, the longer you let it cook, the better it is. Alright? Now this is really nice, but 
but I am going to go ahead and add this just because I don't want to wait. Beautiful. I wish they made clear. Well, I take that back. They, I think that was Pyrex that time that had the the glass pots and pans. Those things were terrible. They were pretty to look at, but they they weren't very good to uh to cook with. more because what's going to happen once it starts to cook it's going to reduce so if I don't have enough liquid in here now I'll have to add it later and I don't want to do that I want to do this now so when it's cooking I can just leave it alone oh it's beautiful hold on hold on I'm going to put some in a bowl. Let me take these olives out. I'm going to put some in a bowl just so you can see. So you can see the consistency of it. Okay. Now I still, yeah, it's really thick. So I still may add just a little bit more. But see that? See how, how that moves around? It's chilly. Alright, but let me get a spoon because I want to see where are we at with the flakes? Alright, that's really good. But it's not hot enough. So I don't know what was popping off with that um, with that Taco Bell thing. It was some bullshit. Hold on. I'm going to add cayenne pepper. I don't think I have any chili pepper. But you know what I do have? I have, when I buy bell peppers, I dice them up and I put them in the freezer and then I can add them as I need them. I'm going to go ahead and add this whole bag in because it's starting to ice up. And I have some yellow and green ones. And we're going to add those in too. Okay. Now, if you don't want all the heat, just make sure you grate the skin. Once you get to the seed and to that pulp in the middle, that's where the heat is. So, if you just want the flavor of the jalapeno, remember, do not get the seeds in there. Now, because I already added that cayenne, I really don't want any more heat. Alright, I'm 
I'm about to get in a nice stir. It's so pretty. All right, and now we're going to take her over to the stove. Once I give it another taste, though. You need some more cumin. I ain't messing with y'all with this damn measuring. I'm sprinkling. Because this is what I do. This is where magic is. I can't do all that damn measuring and exact. There's no magic in that. And we need, I'm going to add in just a little bit more of this garlic pepper. I mean garlic powder. And I'm going to add in just a little bit of Himalayan salt. Yeah. Now, we about to get down to the get down now. Now, let's stir it up just a little bit more. Alright. Just a little bit more. Now, I know I keep switching spoon. And I'm cooking for me, but a lot of times I may take some to work. I, I cook things at home, and I have a co-worker that, like, works all day at the shift, and I work night shift, so I usually bring her a little something to chew on. So I don't like to dip my spoons and things in there because somebody else will be eating out of it. We getting there. We getting there. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the stove because once it starts to cook, the flavors will enhance on their own. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it, let it roll and see what happens after that. Okay? So we're going to put the lid on it, let it cook, I'm going to clean up, and then I'll be back to check on it once it starts to boil. Alright? Take it easy. Now we got a nice boil on this. So I've already turned it down. But what you have to remember with this is to make sure you stir it. Now I know in other videos that I've done, I used to be in y'all ass about taking the top off of pots and pans. But this particular um, recipe, you're going to need to take this off because all your goodies will stick to the bottom. Okay? And so you're going to want to stir those so they don't burn and stick to the bottom of your pan. So that's why. Plus, now that I am ready for this to reduce down some, I need to take the lid off um, to let that steam come out and it's going to reduce it down and really thicken that up a little bit more. Okay? Now, at this point too, which I forgot to talk, tell you, also too, as my favorite teacher Bobby Hemmett would say, also too. I'm going to add in um, a cinnamon stick, all right? Now, people from Cincinnati, you know, we know what it is. The rest of you people in the world, y'all don't know what it is. But anyway, we're going to put that cinnamon stick in there, and I'm just, I have it on a uh, simmer, okay, or low, whatever your, your stove is on. And I'm just going to let this roll. And when we come back, we're going to put it in our bowl. And we're going to plate it up and give it a taste, all right? Isn't that pretty? All right. It's ready. Time to give it a taste. See how thick it is? Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Super hot, though, but it's beautiful. cheese I got left. I'm rounding the bases on dairy too. Alright. Then I got some basil from outside from my little plant. I'm going to sprinkle a little of that on top. Alright. 
and oh, I need a fork. Hold on. Fork or knife. That's the big knife. This is what I do with the um, when I squeeze the lime juice out. I like the pulp, so I take my knife and run it because I want to pull that pulp off. It just really gives it that nice lime taste to the fourth hour. Alright, now <clears throat> it still is not over for this lime. What I'll do next is pour me a glass of uh, water and I add my peel to it and I sit it out in the sun for a little while and then I put it in the refrigerator. So I get all my use out of my fruits and vegetables. All right? Enough stalling. Let's get to it. All right. Got some crackers here. Now, I know I may never have mentioned it before, but remember I was telling you how you have to replace things? I love saltine crackers. I mean, like, for real. Just plain out of the pack. I can just lay in the bed and watch a movie and eat them like you eat potato chips. I don't need nothing on them. Just a plain saltine cracker. I love them. All right, but you got to replace things. You have to replace them with something better. So these are no preserv preservatives, no additives. It's uh, rosemary and sea salt, all natural, handmade. Everything on it you can pronounce sea salt, baking soda, kosher salt, dry rosemary. Vermont maple syrup, unsalted butter, buttermilk, cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, white flour, unbleached flour. Uh, and that's it. Not a whole bunch of stuff you can not pronounce. But let's see how they taste though. I got these from Amazon. Let's see. Um, mm, I will not be laying in the bed eating these. Um, they're not horrible. Um, they're just really dry. And they're not as delicious as a plain, bad for you, bleached flour, salty, Keebler elf. Saltine cracker. Uh, the rosemary is nice though. The rosemary is nice. It's got a nice. Yeah, it's alright. Let's see. This is this is a cracker I would strictly use for dipping. I would not be laying in the bed dining off of Let's see. Nope. Won't be fucking with those. I don't give a damn. I'm going back to my saltine crackers. Alright, let's get it silly it tastes. Here we go. Oh. Here we go! <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> That's it right there. Now you can do it for it's your recipe. You do what you want. But I would advise you to try this here. Mmm. That's so good. Oh, that's really good. Now this I can lay in my bed and eat. This is really good. It's perfect. I don't need to add anything else to it. As far as seasoning, it's got that swing to it that I like. It's perfect. And I told you, after you let it cook, and you let the seasoning get together and party a little bit, 
They bring on a whole new flavor. So never be uh, stuck when you mix something before you cook it that this is going to be the taste of it because it's not. It's going to enhance. Plus, once it sits overnight, tomorrow, oh, it's going to be out of control tomorrow. So make sure you try this recipe. Try it just the way I did. You know, give it give it a swirl. If you don't, if you ain't feeling it, then go ahead and and make it your way and uh, use the eggplant instead. You know, I'm just trying to give you a healthy alternative. You know, uh, give your body a break sometimes from chewing on that cow. Um, I'm not a health fanatic. I'm not going to make a religion out of eating. Um, eating is spiritual. But I'm not going to make a religion out of it, meaning, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. You know, so I'm trying to give you things that you can replace. Okay, because a lot of times people tell you what you can't do, but they don't give you anything that you can do. So this is just my attempt of um, showing you what I do. You know, I know better than anybody else. I'm still trying to figure things out as far as how to cook healthier uh, so I, by no means do I have this down to a damn science. I don't. And by no means will I ever. I don't think I even want to. Uh, I like adding in my healthy elements and still eating a little bit of my junk. You know, I, I'm never going to give up my beer, ever. I don't give a damn what nobody say. We're going to do this right here. I mean, who can be mad at dark beer? It's beautiful. <laughs> so anyway... I hope you try this recipe. Uh, leave me some comments and let me know uh, how it came out for you if you tried it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I want to know these things. If you have a, a recipe that you might want me to try, if it's something that I, I feel like I want to chew on, again, I just may cook it. Okay? So make sure you uh, follow me on Facebook, Let's Cook at Home. And make sure you follow me here. Bring your friends. You know, I know I curse, so they say, even though there is no such thing as a curse, but a curse word, rather. But, uh, you know, it ain't nothing your kids ain't heard anyway. So, anywho, <laughs> like I always say, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and above all things, keep a lyric in your heart. Peace. I had to just come back and do a little bonus clip <laughs> because the chili has been sitting all day uh, I did some other things and so now I'm ready to you know put it away for the night but I wanted to show you how thick it is now can you see look I'm gonna put some in this bowl because I already done ate a little bit I don't mind eating a little bit more but look how thick that is now you see it? All that juice and it, it has all absorbed up. And that's why I add in the flaxseed oil and the hemp seed. I said oil, but the flaxseed and the hemp. Because it, it soaks up moisture. So now the chili is perfect. It's just the way I wanted it to be. Now earlier when I tasted it, it was still hot. So it was still kind of runny, but now it has cooled all the way off and it has had a chance to sit. Oh my God. Hey, this is the business right here. This is the business. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, this thing. I'll probably eat about three more of these little bowls. I keep telling myself, oh, I'll just have one more. Oh yeah, that thing right there. But I just wanted to um, let you see how thick that is. And to me, when I eat it, there's nothing in my brain that says, there's no meat in it. Or it would be good if it 
if it had meat in it. No. Actually, I think meat would ruin the taste of it, to be honest. It's absolutely perfect. It's seasoned um, very well. The texture of everything, the consistency of it is perfect. Look at, look at that. A little bit more, we damn near could have made sloppy joes out of these. Uh-oh. That might be next. <laughs> but this is perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to add that in so you will see it and you'll know what to look for. It's absolutely, positively delicious. I couldn't have done a better job if I tried. Mm, mm, mm. Alright then, I'm about to finish chewing on this a couple more times <laughs> and I'm going to do some other things before I go to bed for tonight. This is really good. I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy it. Till next time. Peace.